What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Exxons. We are here. We are live in New Haven, of all places. We just wrapped up a monstrous, amazing lunch. It was amazing. It's amazing. Fantastic. Modern pizza, mm. right here in the heart of New Haven. Unbelievable. Absolutely worth the wait. Highly recommend it. Exxon, let me get a score right off the top. Ah, score. So we had the plain cheese and the Italian bomb, I believe it was called which has all the meats. Um, I'm sorry, how many meats? Sausage, <laughs> bacon. Had all of them. Sausage Pepperoni. Fries. Yep. And then vegetables. Onions. Peppers. Peppers. Mushrooms. Mushrooms, thank you. Yep. you Delicious. Go. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, Rating for the plain cheese going, mm. wow, 9.6. Heavy, high, damn near perfect. Uh, the Italian bomb, nine. Ooh. So 9.6 and a nine. Strong scores. Yeah, it's, it's a strong, Pretty strong pizza. <laughs> Shannon, what you got? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm in the same boat. I'm at 9.5 with the cheese. Mm. Cheese was fantastic. I'm at a... Uh, it had mushrooms, the other one. Yep. I don't like mushrooms. Minus I still points? give it a nine. I still give it a nine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll give it a nine. Okay. Damn. Because that's 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 an easy, you know, hey, no mushrooms. Yeah. That's true, easy. true, true, true. The, the the strongest thing is the base of the pizza is really yes. the, the cheese and the sauce give it the the punch. Mm. Yeah, and I just I don't want to understate the cheese part. The cheese part really played a huge yes. role. Yes. More, more so than I've ever noticed on any other pizza. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. It was very good. Cheese to sauce ratio. And it's perfect thickness. Yeah. No ditty. Here wow. it goes. Uh, before we get there, we'll just, um, <laughs> I'm going to go 10-10. 10-10. Yep. There you go. Blown away. Absolutely amazing. 10-10. 10-10. There you go. Easy. There you go. Easy. Easy. My heart was won over. You were spe uh, speechless for a bit. I really was. I definitely was having a moment. I think we all were, to be fair. The pizza was incredible. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, no, 10-10. Easy. All day. That's. Absolutely. La Paso. Self yes. plus. Yes. <clears throat> Um, so switching gears harshly, jumping gingerly yes. into the tough topic. It's been uh, all over the culture, if you will. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all over. So we got, uh, is he still on his private island right now? Like, he's still overseas? He's under the radar. He's under the radar. Wherever it is. Not trying to be extradited. Oh, yes. Absolutely. They haven't charged him with anything yet. But they're knocking on his door. I mean... They're in his door. Yes. Crazy. I mean, I, I don't know how much we want to get into the specifics of the story, per se, but, you know, I, hopefully you guys have heard by now the whole, you know, situation with Sean Combs. If you Ooh. haven't, somehow... Full government, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, allegate, allegedly, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so allegations. Allegedly, allegedly. There's one video part that I see that I oh, that I want to talk about, speak about. It's, it was TMC had it, and they have both of his sons outside in handcuffs. I don't know how the process is or how things are supposed to work. I just didn't understand why they were outside in handcuffs. I get it; they have a warrant to raid the place or whatever. I just, if you know more about law, please let me know. I just didn't know why they were in handcuffs outside. I, I just never you feel it. like that was maybe part of the narrative? Like, let's make sure that they're outside so that cameras can be on this? Something like that? Could be. No? Um, I don't know. I don't know if yeah. you know much about law. I just didn't know why they were in handcuffs, unless they were also part of this whole sex trafficking thing that's going on. And there was also this um, this person um, that drove out, supposedly Diddy's neighbor. I'm thinking Diddy's neighbors are like... Okay, Diddy's neighbor. Right, yes. This is what he claims. TMZ this dude, thing, yeah. he just looked like he just came out of the hood, some kind of hood, <laughs> talking about, yo, this dude, blah, blah. He just started snitching on Diddy's. Apparently, he's saying there's buses coming in here at 3 a.m. full of blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, it's just funny how this, this dude just came out of nowhere. He just started, just, hey, there's a camera. My turn. Yo, this, this, he just started talking all this nonsense. Um, and who knows? Who knows? Maybe, maybe his kids are, I don't know, man, because his kids love the girls, too. I know, I know about, again, this is no, I saw this shit, but I know that the Diddy's, the Combs, they, they love, they love to party. They love to party. But anyways. Diddy like to party. 
and you got to say no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cat Williams. Yes. That's yes. A epic good, line. Man. Yes. I mean, uh, Cat Williams famously, um, 50 Cent, has been sounding the alarm on this for years. Yeah. Right? And, you know, no one really paid mind to it much. Good talk. Uh, should we should we transition and maybe uh, take a little stroll over to uh, the other spot? Yes. Yeah. Let's do that. Awesome. Let's do it. I just need, like, I need a reason to be out there. Like, I can't just be like, hey, guys, let's go to the club. I always want it to be an accident. Like, oh, and then we ended up at the club. You know what I mean? Like, it just feels better that way every time. Because when you plan it, it's like, ah, uh, kind of force it a little bit. Somehow we ended up here. We started with pizza. We, we, we're now currently next to water. I'm kind of like channeling Anthony Bourdain a little bit. I, I respect <laughs> it. Except, you know, locally in, yeah. in, in, in northern, northeast America. Yeah, we're doing it. We are doing it. Now we're going to, what are we going to try here? Well, we got a lot of food trucks right in front of us. A quick count would give me maybe 10. Let's go 15, maybe. It's a heavy Mexican variety. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right. Latin American variety. I don't know if you hear, you can probably hear the music in the background, but. You can hear the culture. It's Yeah, we're here. It's yeah. dope, though. It's like, it's very, pardon my use of the word, guys. Serendipitous of us to arrive here. Mm. Serendipitous indeed, Rick. <laughs> Thank now you. back to you, Xander. <laughs> Serendipity. Oh man! Thank you. Where did we leave off the last? The, the, so we were in the heart of the city where we were. It got raunchy. Um, I don't want to use the word assaulted, but maybe perhaps verbally assaulted. How you doing, man? I haven't had sex in years. No, it's a good thing. It feels nice. It's like a dog. It's like a dog on a look. It's like a dog on a Ferris wheel that can't come off. You know why I said that? Okay. You want to know why? Sure. Because a dog feels like it's superior to men because it understood what it feels like to fly. You basically understand it, you know? Bunch of white kids. I don't know you. Bunch of I mean, we're just, we're just talking here. Yeah, there's a bunch of white kids out here who's really poor. They, they claim they're rich, but the, their bills are fucking crazy. Their parents aren't rich anymore because of inflation, you know? The business is a hit to say nobody's buying their stocks. Accosted. Accosted. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> by the community. Yeah, it was it was shocking, but also simultaneously very entertaining. We got a lot of New Haven in a very short amount of time. I wasn't intense. ready. I legit wasn't ready for it, and maybe I'll chalk that up to my ignorance. It was a yes. lot. It was a lot to swallow. Clearly, Rick was out of sorts. Rick was trying to live analyze the situation. He was. He was. It was editing in real time. <laughs> it was a lot because I was trying to just like pick up whatever lane, but in the moment I picked up whatever he was putting down, he would just go deeper into yes. like Inception story. Just it was everything all at once. Yeah. I want to just shout out to Rick for, for being empathetic with that guy. Thank you. I got to say, because I, I had no time for none of the bullshit. I just feel like he came too hard and too friendly. And that to me is like red flags all over the place. So Rick, hey, shout out to Rick for I, what I was not entertaining it, as you guys can see. Pause on the too hard or too friendly. <laughs> wow. No so pause at all, actually. Because he started <laughs> with a very odd question. You don't ask three males, hey, what was the last time you had sex? Yeah, that's, that's a you, hard that, open. That's a that, that's, that's, yeah. a wild open. I'm shout good. Shout out to Winston. Yes. <laughs> Wherever he, yes. Hopefully he finds us. Who knows? Smart man. Yeah, bro. So anyway, that was that was a fun <laughs> adventure. So far, you know, I gotta tell you, like, we're certainly not like locals by any stretch of the imagination here in the beautiful city of New Haven. You know, nearby local metro area, a lot of culture, a lot of different types of personalities, people, a lot of age groups. When we were at uh, Modern Pizza, there was a lot of different uh, age groups represented there, which was surprising to me. I, I thought I fully expected to see a restaurant full of like just college students. Yeah. But it was a good mix. Good mix. The it line was. was long and there was a there was a good mix of people. You see it in the line, so yeah, it was good. Good, good time. time. New Haven is different. I only come here to get pizza and go to IKEA. Mm. Yes. That's the, that's the extent of New Haven. Uh, otherwise, I'm passing through. And then random, like, one-off little concerts of, like, smaller artists. Sure. That, uh, they have a space called the Toad's Place. 
This is a smaller venue, standing room only. Yeah, yeah. Some artists okay. come over here. And Not familiar. Yeah, yeah. They do like unplugged stuff there. I like Unplugged. Unplugged is such a different vibe from like the full bump before. I mean, give me both. I'm happy yeah. with both. But it's nice to dabble, especially when you're like so locked into uh, someone's music and the way they do it. Yes. So something about like I, maybe it's the musician in me. Something of listening to music in a smaller setting. I love it more. Like, don't get me wrong. I still like the lot, the, the concert experience. That's one thing. But like, give me like a Tori Kelly with a guitar. You know, in the cut. Yes. I'm like, okay, this is what I like yes. right here. Or like a random Joe Schmo band that's just locked in. That's a good yes, time. Yes, man. Give me like a three person band. <laughs> yes. Real tight. That's it. You could go you could go a long way with just three people, man. Yeah. Little trio. It brings like the whole like experience to a different level. Everyone's having a good time, especially if they're if they're jamming. Yeah. I think that happens a lot in Berkeley, because they have the music school over there. Yes. So you could probably pop up to like random spots and they'll probably have people cooking. Cooking. We gotta try, we gotta go out there. We, you know what? All right, clearly next road trip, obviously Berkeley. Yes. We, we, gotta look, we gotta look up like maybe uh, some restaurants or like some little like speakeasies close to Berkeley because that's probably where they'll be. See, I like that. I like that. They'll be in the cut. Mm -hmm. We're making an overnight trip, making it interesting. Hey, -o. Uh, so Shannon, speaking of music, speaking of Berkeley, music. Sorry, you uh, you were asking the group recently about who is Sir. Have you guys heard of Sir? Yes. And I overlooked it. I, I saw it in passing, and I was like, kind of rings a bell, but didn't give it much thought. And then you had also asked Mike Williams. Shout out to Mike Williams if he had heard of him as well. Yeah, please, man. Please pick it up. Uh, Mike said he knew of his like his brother and stuff and was familiar with him, but didn't really listen to a lot of his music. Um, I found it by happenstance through through Instagram. I like that word, happenstance. Um, I, I like tomfoolery. Hey, there we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. And serendipitous. <laughs> um, but sir, uh, I down I checked out his CD because I'm like, oh, you know, this guy enjoyed him a lot. Let me see what type of music it is. I was curious about what music he did, um, and it was R&B. So I checked out his album that came out this month it's fire 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 no skips no, no skips. skips wow it's a good variety of uh it's r&b but it's it, every song has a different feel i feel like there's something for everybody like if you're a super big musician that song that with those changes yes the six whole days yes mm, mm -hmm. yes Great time. shannon did play it on the way up here uh we, we got quite a, a real good taste of it and i gotta tell you man i was super impressed like there was a lot of like yeah, bro. Like, I mean, it's really, it's real music. Like, it's real music, and I love that when, when, um, when the artistry comes forward, and you kind of, you take in the the project as a whole instead of just like that person's voice or like the instrumentation. Yeah. Like, the whole thing together was really well done. And shout out to Shin too, because Shin mentioned it in one of the episodes that he yeah. put him at his, like his top list, and I. I I think we were all kind of like, well, who is that? Yeah, we didn't know who Sir was at that time, but Shin do. Yeah, he definitely was the one to mention it first. Shin, my... Shin was on already. Yeah. <laughs> well, shout out to Shin. Hey. But yeah, if you we're, have we're it, the, album, the album's called Heavy. Fire. Yeah, appropriately titled. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, definitely. Mm. I'm looking forward to, to taking in the rest of it. But yeah, the little mm. bit that I did get, I, I really did mm. enjoy, man. Um, let's see what else came out. Uh, didn't Future drop an album recently? I haven't had a chance to listen to it yet. So there is this music war going on out here. Yeah, I know for a lot of people it's stupid, but just to catch up on things, please so give us a recap. Ke Kendrick Lamar came out with a this, if you want to call it that, I don't just a verse getting at J Cole and Drake saying that there's no big three, it's just big me. It's basically you guys are pretty much under me on the big dog. Um, Future and Metro Booming are coming out with their own, their own mixtape and they have a song with Kendrick and Metro Boomin's um, Boomin, I said Boomin. slogan is pick a side okay, and stay there so the sides are Future, Metro, Kendrick and then that's like it's like Drake and whoever it is on that side which is J. Cole very and interesting the folks. so they're telling them you know some kind of for music it's fun yeah you know musically um, but yeah, that's that's the whole thing that's going on right now. It's kind of like Kendrick's came out of the woodworks again. He was he's been hiding ever since uh, that two, two stepper or whatever. Yeah, um, the last album he out. dropped. Yep. So he came all of a sudden. Um, 
and now Future's getting involved, and they're kind of like creating their own. Against. Interesting. Yeah, but it's interesting because Drake and Future, not to get you out, Drake, no, they were, they've always been together. They make great music. Right. So supposedly they unfollow each other. It's just like this stupid petty draw. It's like, you guys are too old for this, but it's like, for music, let's do it. I'm, I'm for it. Let's go. Do you think it's like real petty stuff or is it like showbiz? Oh, it's super petty. I, I'm getting like WWE energy from yeah. this. <clears throat> like, let's continue to add to the spectacle. But I'm with it. Yes. But yes. It, I find it interesting that it's. Um, you know, <laughs> I was going to say juxtapose, but then that immediately made me think about Shin. Shout out to Shin. <laughs> juxtapose. Um, you have this going on in the forefront, but then in the background, we have the whole thing with Diddy, right? Like the, like, like the kind of like underground, dirty, gritty part of the industry. Like, which one is a distraction? You know what I mean? Like, it's... it's yeah. Yeah, that's true. Which one is a distraction? I mean, it's all to keep us from the truth, right? People, people be wild out there in the industry. Yeah, people be wild. Yeah, man. Oh, uh, did you guys? And you know what? We're not gonna do. We're not gonna. Yeah. This is gonna take a dark turn. We'll continue. We'll keep it past. Oh. Keep it going. I like yeah, dark yeah. turns, but hey, <laughs> I want to bring the mood down. <laughs> now nah, the sun is still out. Yeah, yeah, we can yeah. talk about dark stuff later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or not? I mean, no. That sounds yeah uncomfortable. Yeah, here's a spot I I did not anticipate being at, but we're here. We're doing it live. You know, the wind is strong here. Yeah, it is. Um, but it feels good to be outside. It's a little cold, so I feel like we're forcing it, but I, like I need it. But we live here, man. Yeah, yeah. It's so a little bit of that too, right? It's like that. Yeah, I know we're from here. Yeah, man. This is what we're used to. Word. We're just we're just biting at the bit for the good weather to just like <laughs> stay. It's true. Now we're tough, man. We're not weak like Floridians. <laughs> Fair. I mean, I... Take it. Mic drop. <laughs> uh, I was just kidding. I love you guys. I love you guys. <laughs> All right. Should we wrap it up? Should we go grab a drink? I think so. I think it's about some that horchata? Time. Yes. Horchata. Let's do Got it. Some horchata and some tamarindo. That sounds great. <laughs> Let's do it. All right.